I don't know whether you saw on my other channel, I created a box using this leaf and this slogan, cutting it out of MDF with the X-Tools D1 laser. A brilliant tool. If you haven't got one, save for one or get one. They're brilliant price. They do so much as well. Certainly the best tool I've got in my other studio. And what it left me was with this, like a stencil, and I really liked it. So I'm going to fill this in now using resin. These bits here that are taped up are just the centers of the P and the A. And I'm going to fill this with resin, paint this up, and then dome it. Now I'm going to show you how to do that without all the resin just running out and making a real mess everywhere. And it's a similar technique to the way I did when I made that really giant bezel, open back bezel. So check that video out if you haven't seen it. I will link it at the end of this one because you'll learn a lot about how to use this type of stencil or opening and fill it with resin. So the first thing I need to do is ensure that this is nicely sealed. And how I'm going to do that is once again, I'm going to be using some Fablon or sticky back plastic or clear transparent plastic. Now it works brilliantly as a damming tape for this. There, that is going to cover that whole back bit, which is plenty. Take the backing off. Try and not let it stick to itself either, because that's the last thing you want to do, because it's so annoying when that happens. Then put that on there, like that, because that's obviously where we're going to fill. And then push that down really well, so it's cleared on all the areas. Now, I'm going to take off this excess, because I don't need it there, and what happens is it sticks to my clothes, and then I end up knocking it all over or making a real mess with it, and I don't want to do that. And then I would suggest going over it either with a brayer or I'm going to be just using a piece of paper, a bit of kitchen roll, to ensure that that is all nicely stuck down everywhere you want it. And you don't have to have a sign that says this on it. I know I got a lot of complaints on my other channel about all publicising this, but it was just a way of me showing people how to do something and it just happened to be the picture and that that I chose. And I have no issues anyway. Mustn't forget to put the P bit in. There's the P and there's the A. And now all I have to do is mix up my resin and fill this in. Well, now my resin's all mixed up and I've used a really vibrant green mica powder in this because I think it will give it such a lovely finish. Now, whenever you're pouring into something like this that's got a lot of little intricate cutouts in, what I do is I allow the resin to thicken and I don't actually have to with this quick cure resin because it's a lovely thick resin anyway. And then I go in with a blunt nose needle to ensure that all the resin is attaching or where the little cutouts are. Because when you fill it up, as long as that resin's already there, it will just follow that resin there and fill up lovely without any gaps at all, which is great. I'd just like to say a quick thank you to my members whose names are coming up now. We have such a laugh in our membership and we're so supportive of each other, especially on the Facebook group. So if you'd like to become a member, check that out and please join the Facebook group if you've become a member. The link is in the community area for members only. I use a pipette to fill these little intricate letters up with because I just find that's easier and then ensure again that I get everywhere I need it to go using the blunt nose needle. Pop in any bubbles that have come up using a torch because it's not silicon so a torch is fine and then I'll leave this to cure. Well this should be all cured now. And it's just a case of taking the backing off. Now, what I really should have done, if I'd have thought about it, was put the backing on here and then filled it up from the other side. Because that way, it wouldn't have mattered if it got onto this. But there you go. <laughs> what are you going to do? This should pull off nice and easily off the MDF board. It shouldn't do any damage to this whatsoever, as we know previously. The great thing about this is it doesn't stop the resin being shiny on this side either. So there we are. That's all nice and done. So that side looks nice, and I think that side also looks really nice as well. I'm going to paint this just using normal acrylic paint, and I'm going to paint it yellow. And the good thing about painting it afterwards is if you get any of the acrylic paint onto the resin, it will just wipe off. It will need probably two, maybe three coats of this yellow, because I find this yellow does go on quite thin. It probably would have been better if I'd have primed it first, but to be honest, I can't be bothered. 
So this is all ready to dome and I'm going to show you how to dome now without getting any drips or anything down the side because if you want to keep the sides nice and clean. Firstly check that it's level because that's really important. Just a quick thank you to everybody that bought me a coffee last month. All your coffees go towards everything that I buy for both channels so thank you very much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So I've poured the resin on but as you can see I've left the edges clear. Now I'm going to let the resin do its own thing once I've popped any bubbles and use my little spatula which comes with all your J-Diction resins to feather that resin towards the edge and then what will happen is that surface tension of the resin will prevent that resin from going over as long as you've not poured it too deep although you can get quite a nice dome with this and then I feather over and even try and even out the layer of the resin right the way through and making sure that all my edges are fully covered then what I'll do is I will just go over it once briefly with a torch because again not silicon so it's not going to burn it and pop any bubbles now sometimes when you are pouring resin over something like this, you will get the odd few bubbles that will stick to the base. And as you can see here, I'm just using a micro brush with a little tip pulled off to dislodge those bubbles. There's quite a large one here, so you can either bring it up to the surface, or what you can do is move it slowly to the edge, making sure you don't make the resin pour over, and then that should pop on its own. Once I've done that, I'll go over it again with a torch and burst all the bubbles. Cover it up. I love these nets. They're for food. I love them. I will link them in the description below. And then I'll let this cure up. Well, this is all finished now. And it's all lovely and cured. So I can move my little pots around. The great thing about the J-Diction resin is that this eight-hour cure or the four hour demolding and eight hour cure, it does, it's lovely and thick. So if you don't want any down the sides, you can dome without getting any down the side. Now this is probably the most controversial piece of art I've ever made and you wouldn't think it would be, but I get a lot of, I got a lot of comments on my other channel where I use this image on a box about how inappropriate it is and everything like that. And it's not about that for me. If people are using marijuana for health reasons and to alleviate pain, then good for them. Do you know what I mean? If this, if it helps the quality of people's lives, I support that 100%. So I'm sorry if this offends anybody. I don't mean to be offending you, but I want to ensure that what I show here is the technique overall. So please let me know by booping the like button if you agree with this and you're happy with this and you've enjoyed this video, it really does help me. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you and to help support this channel, then the link for that is in the description below, along with the link for anything that I've used today. Now, I would recommend saving or getting yourself one of these X-Tools D1 lasers. They are absolutely just amazing. I would not want to be without mine now. I love it so much. Be sure to check out the video that I'm going to put up at the end of this. It's going to show you how I used the cutout pieces to make a brilliant little box. And it was controversial. So make sure to click on that. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.